The latest patch in Destiny 2 has brought out some interesting developments in the PvE sandbox. Among those changes, there's a nerf to the perk Envious Assassin. Previously, the perk allowed you to load 150% of your mag size and had a maximum overflow of times 4 However, with the latest patch, that is lowered down to 100% and 3 times, respectively, as seen here on the Bungie patch notes. So, that means Envious Assassin got a substantial nerf, right? Well, yes and no. While Bungie did in fact tone down the potency of the perk, there is still one major factor of Envious Assassin that was not altered, and this is what will still make this a borderline game-breaking perk on most weapons. We'll get to what I mean by most in a second here, but first, let's dive into this major factor. First, let's explain how Envious Assassin works as a perk in general. By defeating enemies with your other weapons, Envious Assassin allows you to overflow the mag of the weapon that you have stowed. Also, the overflow cap can be hit multiple times if done right. It's very important to keep in mind that primary weapon kills and energy weapon kills have different values to getting additional ammo from Envious Assassin. To put it in short terms, a primary weapon kill, such as an auto rifle, a hand cannon, a bow, etc., will grant you one additional shot into your mag, while an energy weapon, such as shotguns, snipers, waveframe GLs, trace rifles, etc., will give you two additional shots into your mag. This info is very important because it will allow us to manipulate what Envious Assassin will be doing to our stowed weapon and how this will enable Envious to still dominate the PvE meta. Now, let's go to a testing zone and demonstrate what I'm talking about. So here we are at our testing zone. I'm going to demonstrate a couple weapons here just to get the point across. But first, we're going to be using the Caraxas GL from Root of Nightmares as our first example. Now, as you can see, I have seven shots in the mag. And what we know from the recent patch is that it will not overflow more than 100%, meaning if we have 7 shots, 100% of that is, well, 7 shots. So, we know that info, and we know that you can overflow the mag multiple times. With that information, once you rally, you have 7 shots now, and 29 in reserves, right? Now, taking that info, and what we know with how you stack Envious, meaning 1 for primary kill, and then 2 for energy kill, we're going to set this up to be at 14, right? So, I got a kill there, now I'm at 9. Another kill, I'm at 11. Another kill, I'm at 13. Now I get one primary kill. Now I'm at 14, because that's 100%. From here on out, you simply just don't look at your weapon and you get the proper amount of kills to go for another 7 shots. So, I'm just going to get a bunch of kills here. And now I've arrived at 21 shots in the mag. Now, real quick, some of you might be wondering, why do I stop at 14 shots and I just keep going? Simply put... You cannot go over the 100% ammo threshold. The game literally will not let you. For example, I'm going to kill a bunch of Thrall here that would normally get me way over the 14 cap because I'm killing more than 7 Thrall with an energy weapon. But, one second, you're going to see here that I'm still stuck at 14. But now, because I switched to the gun and checked and I was at the 100% cap at that point at 14, I will now kill more Thrall. And then once I'm done with this, it's going to put me at the 21 shot cap like it was supposed to. Like that. Now here's another example, it's not just GLs, here we have Doom Petitioner, the linear from this season from Riven's Lair and Koi and all that. We have Emmaus Assassin on this as well, and we're going to do the exact same plan. Since we have 6 shots in the mag, we're going to go up to 12 and then look at the weapon, so this would be 3 energy kills. Let's just get, that should be 2, oh well we got 9 shots there, okay. Alright, we're at 11, and now we're at 12. Now we look away, and then we just get a bunch of kills without really caring. And now we should have 18 shots in the mag. There you go. Now backtracking a little bit, remember earlier how I mentioned on most weapons, this can still be a game-breaking perk in Envious? Well, there's one archetype or weapon type that will not benefit, at least not as much from this, from the latest patch, and that is rocket launchers. Specifically, I'm talking about one-shot Envious rockets. For example, I'm going to be using Cold Comfort here. This is technically the best-case scenario, since it has a Restoration Ritual, which will give you an additional shot at the end. But still, the benefits of Envious Assassin are no longer as good as it was before. Previously, with Envious plus Restoration Ritual, you could have six shots technically speaking, in a row without reloading. Now, since they changed Envious to work the way that I mentioned, you can only get a maximum of three rockets in your mag by doing this. After you get three, that's it. You just stay at three no matter what. And then, of course, like I mentioned, Restoration Witcher Will, you can just finish your enemy, like so. And now you'll be technically firing four rockets, but still, that is not as much as previously before this patch. So technically, rockets suffered from this while Linears and GLs are still just reaping in the rewards. Overall, I think it's fair to say that 
and Mace Assassin will just continue to dominate in its current form, given all the information that has been discussed here. And that doesn't even include just enabling you to unlock your heavy to the point where you can shoot 20 straight GL shots or 18 straight linear shots, whatever you can pop off with rockets. And that doesn't even include utilizing things in the game like Strand Grapple for a reload, Hunter Dodges, Rain of Fire Boots for Warlocks, Viridian Dance Machines for Hunters, and well, well, Titans can just sit in the corner with Banner of War. I think it's enough for them. They don't need to use weapons. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Enbase will still stay number one, at least heading into Final Shape? Or do you think something eventually will power creep over it? As always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing today. Maybe leave a like and or comment as well down below. It does help the channel. It is much appreciated, and it does help fight the YouTube algorithm. If you don't know what to comment below, you could simply just put Envious as the comment. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.